little crazy, but we're gonna get that together. Today we're doing the flip over method. So this is how much I'm gonna take on each side. And these handy dandy little clips are very necessary. I like leaving a little bit out in the back. You know that gap, like right here when you wear like extensions and the gap in like the middle of between your neck and then it just shows, I hate that gap. Basically you just bobby pin the braid down and I'm gonna just do that to literally the whole head of mine. And just like that, it's literally stuck. You can pull, it's not coming out. So mind you, I have to cover this part. So the technique has to be a little bit different. Ooh, look, now that I'm getting to the top of my head, I'm trying to like follow the curve of my head. And once you hear the snap like that, the clipping is not coming out your head. Okay, perfect. You see there's extra space like going right here, so I'm just gonna fill that up. The curls look really good to be honest. I don't need to do too much. Here's my natural hair if you can see. And then this is how it like basically blends out. And I need my edges immediately. This forehead of mine. I should have added a little bit more leave out. The front of my hair is pretty thin. These slick backs have been pulling my hair out, so I need to stop that. As you can see, the hair looks really good. I'm really happy with the way it came out. But everything came out so cute. I, I do like the flip over method, and I am going to do it more often. <laughs> 